So next up, we're going to be looking at the seven golden rules or the seven key fundamentals that I would say to consider when it comes to looking at adding properties to any portfolio. It's the fundamentals that we look at for our own portfolio. And it's also what many of our clients use when they're kind of assessing their potential opportunities as well. So first of all, location, so area. And that sounds obvious and many people will have a clear understanding of what location they want, maybe because it's close by or maybe because they have a particular idea of what they want that location to be. And that's great. But there are some nuances when it comes to choosing locations that will really set you apart when it comes to really understanding what the potential long term benefits of that area might be. So for me personally, when I'm looking at an area, I like to focus on locations that have a real mix in terms of not just demographic, but in terms of home ownership or tenant demand or social housing rather than just maybe skewed to one particular element or the other. So if it's a really high density social housing area or really high density tenant um, based area, you might struggle with things like capital growth. What we see is most times capital growth is um, pushed or increased in areas where there is strong home ownership demand because those homeowners are competing more emotionally on the acquisition of the property and they're more inclined to pay a little bit more to try and secure that uh, property. And also there might be some kind of benefits for them as a homeowner um, compared to an investor in terms of the cost of actually acquiring that property or the amount of finance they can get to that property. So we very often see asset values increasing in areas where there's strong home ownership demand. But that's also important to understand from a tenant point of view, if you're buying to rent out, you really want strong, not just home ownership demand, but also tenant demand and strong kind of yields. And that plays into a mixed demographic type area. Now there's videos later on in the training course where we'll go into the detail of what to look for in terms of the specifics and the data for locations. But when it comes to kind of key fundamentals, area is absolutely one of them. And ideally looking for locations that have a mix of demographics and ownership um, or tenant types, hope that helps.